Hi everyone, it's your boy Zach, and I'm uh, kind of speechless, <laughs> which is a bad way to start a video. I just recorded a video earlier today about, uh, what was it, Batman White Knight Presents Harley Quinn number one, uh, and I said like, I was like, man, like new issues feel like back issues now, like everything's been done, it's just so old and dead, um, and I was like, yeah. I was, it kind of took the wind out of my sails for doing videos at all. It's just like the whole industry is just like, blah. Uh, but then uh, something amazing happened. Uh, I finished my workout and I was too tired to drive. So I was noodling around on the internet, seeing if there was anything interesting. And then I saw this tweet, I'm just kind of shocked. <laughs> I, don't, I don't really know what to say. This artist, as usual, please don't contact him, um, has a book that came out. And I saw some other people, uh, Erica Henderson, they had a book that, you know, was scheduled to come out in October and they timed it for uh, New York Comic Con and, you know, just things being normal. And they're like, oh, well, it sucks. You know, our book was going to come out in stores and conventions and we were going to promote and now we don't have that and it's things aren't doing that good. And I'm just like, hey, <laughs> wow, wow. It's not 1987. It's not 1994. Oh my gosh, do you hear yourself? The internet, Instagram, YouTube. Yes, there's even the possibility to promote on Twitter. And you're talking about going to a, a giant convention center and sitting at a card table while a bunch of normies walk by you to get Deadpool cell phone cases? And that was your freaking, that was your one shot? And now you're just completely, you have no idea what to do. Oh my gosh, my brain is like short circuiting. Okay, for the millionth time, I swear, sometimes I just sit and think about Sweet Cast, like how he exists, how he's grown, like, like Sweet Cast. Like I just want to be a crazy person that just shouts Sweet Cast at people. What was the character in uh, Hot Rod, Richardson? He's supposed to put up these flyers. He just runs around and like will throw like 50 flyers <laughs> in someone's face after he's like, hey, I could put out flyers too. Like, sweet cast. Like, I, I feel like I'm taking crazy pills. Okay, so here's the deal. Uh, this is a good artist. He's worked at Marvel, I believe. He did some Captain Marvel and maybe even some champion stuff. He was okay. And he's got something that sounds like it's kind of, you know, like more, you know, personal, close to his heart. And it's coming out. And he just wishes there was a way to promote it. And I just, there is. I don't, I don't know how to say there is besides just saying the, the words there and is in an exasperated tone. The problem, of course, is the elephant in the room. And that is that there is a proven way to make money, to sell your comics, to connect with people. Except for some mentally ill, malicious, and miserable people have defamed having your own YouTube channel, going on certain live streams. You're not allowed to promote your book in the best place that has ever existed to promote it. You know, I get a little moody. I don't want to make a video. Talk about freaking hashtag first world problems. You make the video and you put it out there. And if you've built up an audience and it doesn't take that long, thousands of people, not just for free, will watch what is essentially your advertisement, but you will get paid to advertise your own work that you profit off of. If you would explain this to Bob Kane, to Jack Kirby, to Stan Lee when they were young in their 20s, 30s, early 40s, they would have said there's some sort of trick. They would have said, well, you know how it is. They, they, they give you like three months for free, then they start charging you. No, 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 we're three years in and I'm getting paid every single day to advertise my stuff. <sighs> but you have to talk to some people who some mentally ill, malicious and miserable people don't allow you to talk to. They will try and hurt you if you speak to them. But these are the ways you make money now. You can sit there and appease 
broke communists, or you can stack that paper. I've been to, and I haven't been to a lot of conventions in my life, uh, maybe like eight to ten. I've uh, had comics that I was selling at, I don't know, three. It was awful. It might possibly have been the worst way to sell comics ever. But you know how it is. Nobody knew anything better. There didn't seem to be an alternative, but now there is. And for us, it, we're doing great. We're doing great. We're doing kind of stupidly good. Like, our setbacks are things that we do to ourselves, like kill off all our characters in the second book of a franchise. You know? Like, it's not the olden days. You don't have to go drive for four hours and sleep at a freaking motel and then schlep your stuff over to a convention center to sell your book in a depressing artist's alley. Oh, God. Stop. I am so glad conventions are going away. They were awful. They were awful. All the little catty little politics. Oh, we're having a party today. Have friends. You have actual friends. You can have a party whenever you want to. Hey, I'm having a party tonight. Why? I don't know. Just ask some stupid ass questions. I always like when my friends invite me over and then they try to explain like what the theme is. They're like, it's the start of the football. Some other fuck. Do I give a fuck? We're friends. Like, just invite me over. If I can make it there, I'll go. I don't need an occasion. Um, but uh, uh, start of the football season. <laughs> That's how you're selling it. But uh, anyway, um, there is a way to sell. But uh, this artist is not allowed to go there. If he sells the way you sell, 2020, his allies will try to destroy his entire life. So you got to make up your mind. Do you want to appease broke communists? Or do you want to sell your books? Do you actually want to connect with readers? Um, uh, because they hate readers. They hate backers. 12 Psychos, SJW Comic Pros, they loathe them. Like, it's shocking. I, it, it, it blows my mind that you could have an industry where people can hate the customers and not immediately get fired. Like, immediately. Um, but there's a way. It's right out there. It's You're actually on the thing that you can connect with people. Social media, Twitter's not that great. Instagram's better. YouTube's better than Instagram. Uh, but, geez, as bad as Twitter is, I think it's actually better than conventions. Um, and signings in stores, like, are you... What? 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 So anyway, thanks for watching. Subscribe, make sure you're still subscribed. Hit the bell for notifications. Thanks to everyone. Give it to the Patreon and the Indiegogo. You're funding original content and an original lawsuit. Links are in the description. And I will have new comic reviews up all this week. Thanks. Bye.